So he just had a seizure? Yes, he just had a seizure. This is our simulation mannequin is what SimMan stands for and we use uh, this mannequin for training purposes to simulate all different types of scenarios in which um, paramedics and training paramedics students would practice scenarios um, to mimic real life scenarios to get prepared for the road. So um, he is a machine that basically can mimic what real people do. He actually, you can feel, he's got carotid pulses. He actually also has brachial pulses. You could see it moving there. And he also has radial pulses in which you can actually palpate. You can feel the actual pulse. Um, he has leads on his chest and uh, that will mimic what an actual heart rhythm will do. And uh, if you actually see on the monitor right there, the uh, that is the heart rate that he's monitoring. So if you were to stick your head down on his chest, um, he's actually, you can see his chest rise and fall. And you can actually, if you stick your hand over top of his mouth, you can feel him exhale. So you can feel breath on your hand. So if you were to stick your head down there, you could actually hear a heartbeat and you could hear lung sounds as well. And so these are all variables that you could change. Uh, you could make the heart rate faster, slower, completely non-existent if you wanted to mimic a cardiac arrest. You could change the breath sounds as far as if it was wheezing for an asthmatic patient, crackles for a congestive heart patient. You can change the speed of his blinking. You could make him unconscious. You could see that he's got different um, sized pupils. This one is much larger, which is blown. That one looks more of like a normal. That could indicate um, a stroke, a uh, head injury. So the way that this works is that uh, the instructor or the uh, person who is uh, marking you would sit behind a room, they'd have a microphone, they'd use the computer and set all of their values and create this scenario. And the um, student would be on the other side of the room and running this scenario like a real live um, uh, event would be happening. Therefore, the instructor can have absolutely no contact with the student and they could, you know, check for a pulse, they could auscultate for a lungs, they could, you know, do a chest needle if they had to, they could start IVs, there's injection sites here. Um, basically, it's a it's just a great machine that we use. It's new technology that's just come out in the last couple years. And uh, it's, it's a great testing material to mimic real life scenarios so that once you get out on the road, you can know what the real thing looks and feels and sounds like.